Gobble, gobble, and hello to all turkey-craving, math-embracing kids out there. It's time for our special Thanksgiving episode of Math Homer Coppers. Stick around, we'll be right back. Gobble, 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 gobble. A little help from your friends here on TV. Math homework helpers, it's time, time. Math homework helpers, oh yeah. Math homework helpers, it's time, time. Math homework helpers, oh yeah. Welcome, welcome everyone to Math Homework Helpers. This is a show where we get to help you with your math homework and give you prizes just for calling in. With us today are two very talented teachers. From Middleborough Elementary School, we have the super groovy gravy lady, Miss Patton. And from Parkville High School, we have the cranberry featured stuffing loving teacher, Miss Hevel. Hey Max, sounds like you have your Thanksgiving meal on your mind. Oh, you bet I do. With only eight days until Thanksgiving, all I can think about is gravy and mashed potatoes and cranberry sauce and of course, Turkey! Wow, Max, you are excited. Oh, I'm actually more nervous than excited, though. I have the whole meal planned and ready. I just need a turkey. I'm sure you could just swing by the supermarket after the show and pick up a turkey, Max. Oh, no, Miss Tavel. No, no, no. I don't eat turkey. I invite a turkey over my house for Thanksgiving every year. You know, I just need to find one. Well, we'll keep our eyes open, Max. Who knows? Maybe one will pop up during the show. <gasps> Foreshadow. In the meantime, let's get the show started. If this is your first time watching, you should know that we have prizes. Oh, yeah. All you have to do is call into the show with a math question, and then you will have the chance to win one of our very cool prizes from our math homework helpers, Puck to Pick a Prize Wall. Miss Patton, what are the prizes for today? This week's prizes are a calculator, earbuds, a fuzzy highlighter, and a hot cold pack. Oh, man, like don't guy. forget that after we help our callers with their math problem, we'll drop the puck on the puck to pick a prize wall, and the caller will win whatever prize the puck lands on. Sounds like fun. Sounds great. Let's get things moving and go to the phones. The number to call is 410-494-1459. That number again is 410-494-1459. Max, who is our first caller of the day? Uh, let's see here. Our first caller is, um, Aya, are you there? Uh, hey, Aya. I is calling from Norwood. We love Norwood. We get a lot of Norwood callers over here. This is so cool. So, Aya, what's your question for us today? Um, Jacob has 35 containers. And 35. he has um, five um, apples. How many apples? I mean, yeah, how many apples does Jacob have? So, he has 35 containers with five apples in each container? Yeah. Oh. All right. Holy mackerel, I think that's going to be a lot of apples. That is a lot of apples. So what do you think we have to do here, Aya? Oh, I know. Huh? Call Math Homework Helpers. Oh, wait, we huh? did that. Bam, next caller. <laughs> no, wait, we got to figure this out. Yeah, what do we do, Aya? You uh, make your thought. You... Oh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Take your I time. I messed up my equation, sorry. So, it's all right. What kind there's, of what operation do you want to use here? There's 35 apples in five containers. Oh. That's what I meant. No We've problem. Got 35. Oh, that changes your what operation we're going to do then, huh? Are you trying to figure out how many apples are in each container? Yeah. Oh, Okey there dokey. we go. All right. So I've got 35 apples. I have to split it into five containers. Hmm. Do you have a math operation you use to solve this type of problem? It's a division problem. Yeah. Hey, very good. So we need to divide 35 apples into five containers. Hmm. So how are you doing division so far this year? Good. Pretty easy. Yeah? Could yeah. We, could you use a multiplication fact to solve this? Huh? Could we write 35... Divided by five yeah. equals something, and then we could think about what 
multipli what multiplication? We could go use the inverse operation and say, what times 5 equals 35? I love that idea. Yeah, so what idea. times 5 is 35, Aya? Uh -huh. What times 5 equals 35? Well, you know what? We could count by fives. All right, oh, let's yeah. count by fives. Let's so do I've that. Got so we start with five. 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 Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Oh, wait, we're there. We're at thirty-five. Yeah, we're there. So how many do we count? Um, I count seven. I do, too. Yeah, seven. Perfect. So how many apples are going to be in each container? Seven. Seven apples. Oh, and I like how Miss Evelyn is putting the word apples there. Very yeah. important. So we know what we're talking about. And we're talking about apples. And I need to get some apples for Thanksgiving, too. I forgot about that. You can add it to your list. I'll add it to my list. The ongoing list. Well, guess what, Aya? We're not done with it yet. Miss Patton is going to drop the puck. You ready, kiddo? Yeah. Ready, Aya? Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what it's going to be today. Ooh, All right. This is the really cool, pack. this hot and cold pack. Very nice. You can put that with your leftover turkey. It'd be kind of nice. Keep it fresh. All right, Aya, thanks for calling. Call in next time, okay? Bye. All right, yeah. happy Thanksgiving. All right, let's see. We got another caller. Henry, are you there? Henry? Is he here? Henry? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you are. How you doing, buddy? Good. Good. Do you have a question for us today? Yes. Is it a math-related question? Yes. Well, then you came to the right place. Evaluate when A equals 2, B equals 3, and C equals 5. Seven A minus B plus C. Oh, I think we're doing some. Seven A minus B plus C. Oh, I see some order of operations there. Yeah, do you want to take this one? Sure. I was worried when I saw you were in fifth grade. I know. Mm -hmm. Big leagues. Tough math in fifth grade. <laughs> what What does it mean when you have seven when you have seven A like that? What operation do we do there? Uh, big um. Multiplication? You're right. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna replace, and instead of having seven a, we're gonna have two. seven times two. Yeah. So it's seven times two. And then, yep, because we're replacing the a, and then we can even do the rest of it. I'm Minus seven what's times seven. seven. Oh, you thought it was seven times seven? Would that be if it was seven squared? Mm -hmm. But if it's just seven a, it would be seven oh. times two. Oh, okay. Okay, there that was go. a good question. Point of clarification. Yes, and then we're going to subtract our th our three, and then we're going to add our one. So oh. now I have replaced all my variables with the numbers here. So what are we going to multiply? We're, what are we going to do first? Is we're going to multiply. So I always like to underline what I'm evaluating here. So what is seven times four? Like right I mean up. seven times two. Seven times two equals 14. Yep, and then I usually write that down, and then I write down everything I haven't done yet. This is where it gets tricky, because sometimes we're not sure. When I have addition and subtraction, do you know which one I'm supposed to do first? Huh? Do you do the addition or the subtraction in this 14 minus 3 plus 1? 15 minus 14. Yep, what do I do to the 14? Do oh, I... um, you... E minus it. Yep. Um, fourteen minus four because of three and one. Okay. So that's where we get confused. You know a little what? Bit. That is yeah. so tricky, and I'm sure you see this all the time. I do. In high school too. We actually, if you have addition and subtraction in a number sentence, okay. you do whichever one comes first. So in this case, subtraction comes first. It's sort of like how we read when we read from over going like this. Yeah. Going across. Left so to right. If we do here, we have subtraction first. So we're going to do subtraction first. So we're going to get 11 plus 1, because that's the only thing left. And then what's our final answer? Um, 10. Careful. Well, we still have to add 1. So oh. 11 plus 1. 11 plus 1. 12. Perfect. 12. There you go. So that's our final answer. So we always have to be careful. And the same thing happens when we have multiplication and division. You do the same thing. It's just like how you read. You start at your left side and you move to the right side. Just how you read a, read words. Very nice. So whatever I comes like first. I have two more questions, though. 
You have two more questions? Yeah, I'm like math questions. Oh, boy. Well, I'll tell you what, we could probably help do one more. How about that? Are you sure? Okay, here we go. Just because we want to have time for other callers, too. But here, we can help you, Henry. Go ahead. Okay. What you got? This question. one is like a fraction. So, um, B out of 6 plus A, um, plus 8A minus C to the second power. Can right. you say that one more time for us? B and um, 6, but it's like a fraction. Plus 8A minus C to the second power. Ooh. Oh, wow. wow. Okay, so going back, we know that A is 2, B is was 3, and C is 1. Yes, he is one. Okay, so now we have that, look at your C. Now you've got that squared there like you were Ooh. talking about before. Do you remember your order of operations, Henry? Do you know which one we do first? Um, the B, oh no, the exponent. Yeah, we do. If you yeah. remember, your math teacher might have said, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That E is that X that excuses my exponent. So what are we going to do with that, with the C squared? What is that going to mean? Um, C is one, so like one times one? Yeah, I oh. know that sounds so silly, doesn't it? Yeah. So we can replace that with one, mm -hmm. and then we have to still do the rest. Now, what are we going to do next? Um, the A and, oh, the fraction. Yes. yes. Oh. Good job. So B, uh, well, our B is three. Mm -hmm. And if I did 3 divided by 6, I'm still going to get the same thing. It's almost like simplifying a fraction here. So that's like 2? You're so close. So it's if I have 3, I'm going to write this like just like this. Right. What does 3, 6 look like? What does that also look like? Oh, yeah. I can have like 3 dot 6, I think. Well, it's this, if I simplified 3, 6, it would be a half. So yeah, we could I'm write not. we could write it a couple different ways. I don't know what's the better way to write it. Do you yeah, write this fraction like or a half? Let's okay. keep it as a half. So I'm gonna I'm gonna change this to one half, but we could also we could have write it as a decimal. Plus now we still have eight a minus one. So what are we going to do next? Um what operation is this right here? Eight A. Is it a multiplication? It is. It so is. we're gonna actually nice do that job. next. This is a big problem. This is so a big problem. What is, so A is our 2, so what's 8 times 2? 16. Yeah, so we have 1 half plus 16. Wait, I got to do something real quick. Okay. What do you say? He has to do something real quick. That's understandable. Well, okay. let's think about it while he's gone. Well, I've let's, got, yeah, maybe we can look at how we're going to do it next. Hmm. Well, I've got a based half on and a 6. Well, what are we going to do with that half and 16? I guess, when we think about it, 16 plus a half is 16 and a half, right? That really makes it easy. Sure does. So I'm going to draw a little arrow over here, and I'm going to write 16 and a half, and then this is also sort of easy. Yeah. 16 and a half minus 1 oh. would right, just back. be, oh, hey. Hey, we're doing We're just working on the problem, Henry. So, Henry, 16 and a half minus 1 is what? 16 and a half minus 4? 1. Minus 1. Oh, minus 1. 16 and a half. So instead of 16, um, 16 and a half. Two? Well, careful. If we're just taking one away from 16 and a half, you're left with what? Let's think about it this way. What's 16 minus 1? 16 minus 1. 15. Yeah, so 16 and a half minus 1 is? 16 and a half. 15, 15 and, and a half. half. Good. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, and I think it's great because you know what? I feel like, Henry, on your third problem, you're going to do a really good job because we sort of went over and you about those order of operations and you knew to do those tricky exponents first. Yeah, okay. that's the hardest part of the thing, it I think. Is. Is it like, so is, so is the total answer 15 and a half? Yep, the final answer is 15 and a half. All right, thanks. thanks. You're welcome, okay. Henry. We're not done yet, though. We got to drop the puck. I think that prize deserves a, or the problem deserves a prize. Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Here we go. Puck's falling. All right. Ooh, oh, we got some cool. earbuds. earbuds. Teachers love it, though, when kids get those. Those are cool. <laughs> All right, Henry, thanks for calling, bud. All right, bye. See ya. And you know what? Those earbuds, they're, they're coming packs of two, which is very Ooh. nice. One All for right. each ear. There you go. I always thought that was very helpful. <laughs> it is very helpful. Mm -hmm. All righty, we're going to move over to Featherbed Lane. And Jacqueline, are you there? 
Hello? Hey, Jacqueline, Hi. how are you? Good. Hey, we heard from your principal today, and she was so excited that we had so many Featherbed callers calling in, and I just want to say that you guys are the best over there at Featherbed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for calling all the time. So what's your question for us today, kiddo? So it says, use the standard algorithm to figure out the product. Oh. All right, and what is our product? Okay. So it says, um, it says, multiply 11 times 35. 11 times 35. All right, if we're using our standard algorithm, how should we set up this problem? No. Should they be next to each other like that? Um, it could, but it could also be the other way. All right, so let's write it that other way. Let's do this 11 times 35 this way. All right, so what am I going to multiply first if I'm using this? What number am I going to look at first? Um, five times one. Perfect. And what is five times one? Five. I love multiplying by one. Five. I do too. I know. It's Actually, so you know the only thing better than multiplying by one is multiplying by zero. Oh, this is true. <laughs> That's even cooler. It is very cool. What's one trillion times zero? Zero. Ooh. You're so smart, Mac. Is there? Oh. <laughs> All right, yeah. so what did we do? We did five times one. All right, and then we have to do what, Jacqueline? We have to do five times one again, right? Five times ten. Even though there's only a one, there's um, still supposed to be a zero right there. Perfect. So it's like multiplying five times ten, which is why this is 55, right? Nicely five done. Five times mm -hmm. ten is 50. Perfect. Job. Yep. Smart so, kid. So there's something special we have to do now before we multiply with the three. What do we have to do first? <gasps> we have to make a wish. Oh, wait, no, that's, that's birthday cake. Okay. Go ahead. Looks like two candles on top. Oh. Oh. Thanks for verifying, Max. <laughs> yeah, what do we have to do there, Jacqueline? Can we start right under the five? Maybe multiply three times one? So we are going to do that, yes. but first, because the three is in the tens place, when we multiply by one, we're actually going to get 30. So we need to put a zero here. Does that look, does that look familiar? I'll take that glitch as a yes. Yeah. Yes, it looks like our partial product way. Yeah. Wow, oh, listen to the vocabulary. Way. Well, and also if you think about when you did your array models at school and you were putting all those different parts together. So what are you going to do next? Your array's a nice guy. <laughs> so you're going to add your two answers. Hold on, we're not there yet. Full answer. We were almost there. So we did three times this one, but now we need to multiply oh, the three times to, the other one. We have to do three times the other one? Yeah. There you go. And then I get 330. So now what do you do? Now you um, add the two answers. Yes, you do. To get your full answer. And what is my full answer going to be? Let's add these. 5 plus 0 um, is 5. OK. 5 plus 3. 8. And then I've just got a 3. Not bad. Perfect. So I've got 385. Wait, 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 wait. wait a minute. What, what's wrong, Max? It doesn't look like a birthday cake anymore. No. Oh, well. It doesn't. Still a good problem, though. <laughs> All right, so Jacqueline, does that make sense to you? Yes. Can you tell us the answer you say? What is it? 385. Perfect. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. You know what else I'm talking about? I'm talking about some pucks on a puck to pick a prize wall. Let's do it, do it. Yay. Let's see. What's it going to be today? Ooh, oh, another year set buds. of earbuds. Yay. <laughs> All right, Jacqueline, we will send them right out to Featherbed. Thanks so much for calling, kiddo. Thanks. All righty. All right, we're going to switch gears. We're going to head up north to Pinewood Elementary School. Uh, Leland, are you there? Hi. Hi, hi. Leland. Hi. So how do you like Pinewood? Good. Good. And you're in kindergarten? Yeah. Congratulations oh on making a blue ribbon school and a national blue ribbon school at that. Whoa, whoa. Pine was doing it to Max. it. 
Yeah, good stuff. So, what is your question, Leland? Um, five kids were playing at the playground. Four more come to help. No, come to play. How much um kids are at the play? At, is at the playground. Oh. Wow, this is a great question. Do you know what we're going to have to do, Leland, for these numbers to figure out if we had five kids and then four more come? What, are, what do you think we have to do to start? I don't know. Okay. So well, you're coming to the right place. The first um, thing I, I would do is draw the five kids. Ooh. So I'm just going to draw their faces, and I'll just draw five happy faces because I feel like if you're at the park, you would probably be pretty happy. What oh, do you yeah, think? Oh, yeah, you'd definitely be happy I agree, at the playground. But, but why are they so blue? <laughs> ah! Just kidding. Leland, Max is being very silly today. I think he's just so excited about Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. So uh, can you see on your TV screen how I drew five faces? Yeah. Okay, so you can start with those are the five kids that are at the park. Now, four more come to the park. So how many more faces do I need to draw? Four. Oh, my goodness. Great very job, good. Leland. So I'm going to draw four more faces. One, two, three, four. Now, how am I going to figure out how many are there right now? If I had five kids and then I had four kids, what do you think I have to do with all those smiley faces? Do you think I should count them? I'm gonna count them. Okay, let's count. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how many kids are at the park now, Leland? Nine. You yeah. absolutely are correct. So I'm gonna write the number nine and I'm gonna circle it. So nine kids. And, that's and you know what I, I like about the smiley faces? They sort of look, have you guys been doing any 10 frames at school? Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at what this looks like. If we did this, it's, nine is so close to being a whole full 10 frame. Cool beans. Yeah. That's cool. So you have nine kids at the park. Leland, you did such a great job. Yeah. Good job, kiddo. Thank you. Well, we're not done in. with it yet. It is time to drop the puck. Here we go, Miss Evel. Ooh, I wonder what you're going to get. I don't know. Oh, it's heading to the left. Ooh, oh, we get the that highlighter. fun little highlighter. Oh, it's always the highlight of my day. <laughs> right. All right, kiddo. Well, we're going to send that right out the pine with thanks for calling. All right. Oh, he had to go, I guess. I guess so. Stuff to do. I think Just so. like Henry earlier. Got stuff to do. Mm. All righty. We're going to stay over at Pinewood. Charlotte, are you there? Charlotte? Yeah. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good. So, um, you know how Leland just called? Yes. yes. I'm his sister. Oh. No way. That is so cool. <laughs> so, uh, Charlotte, are you his older sister? Yeah, I'm his older. Very nice. And um, what, what grade are you in? Kavanaugh says hi to Mrs. Patton. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Nice. You know, Charlotte and my daughter went to uh, preschool together when they were two years old. Oh, my Aww. goodness. What a, a small world. Very nice. That's actually like I have a friend of mine who I met through a friend who lived in a shoe, and that shoe had a worm in it whose cousin was this bird that flew around every 12th day. And on that 12th day, there was a clock that would only strike 12 once. And when it struck 12, it woke up another little bug, which was some type of, I don't know what it was, maybe some kind of bee, I don't know. But anyway, that bee had a cousin named Larry, and Larry is one of my closest friends! I, is, I think I got a little lost there, Max. But is Larry coming to Thanksgiving, Max? Who's Larry? Oh. Oh. Okay. Moving well, on, Charlie, Charlotte, what's your question for us? <laughs> so, um... Um, I have um, a stacking question. Okay. It's 200 plus four, 400, 462 plus 473, but I need to find the estimated sum. Oh. oh. Whoa. This is big league stuff. It is. What do you think? Do you mind? Um, we should probably when you're, round. Yeah. And so were you rounding to the nearest hundred or the nearest? tens at school do you know 
I think we should round to the nearest 10. Okay. So if I'm rounding to the nearest 10, I can sort of look at this, this part right here. This 62 is sort of going to help me. Um, my first, my hundreds place is not going to change if I'm rounding to the nearest 10. So when I look at the 62, what two numbers, if we're thinking of a number line, and my first number is 60, and then my next 10 would be 70. Here's 62. So what would you say 62 is closer to? Um, probably 60. It is closer yeah. to Very 60. Good. Because we sort of use the middle as it would be 265 as the middle. So if we got to that 265, we would go all the way up to 270. Now this next number here, we have the 4 isn't going to change if we're doing the tens place. So we look at the 73. So which two numbers is it going to fall between the 73? What's it going to be closer to? 73, or 70 and 80. Yes. And so what do you think it's closer to, the 70 or the 80? Um, probably the 70. It is. It's only three away, so it makes it a little bit easier. So I agree that it would be 260 plus 470. And if we added that up, what would we get? What do we get, Charlotte? That's, those are two pretty big numbers. I'm going to change it. I'm going to write it this way so it's a little bit easier to see. Now, does it matter if, what number is on top or on the bottom? Does it matter with addition what the order of the numbers are? Nope. We no? can put the numbers in any order with addition. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Good to know. So what am I going to add first here, Charlotte? The, um, I added the 200 and the um, 400. Oh, okay. Okay, so you use your place value. And then you got what? I got um, 600. Good. And then what did you add? Then I added the 600 and the 700. Or the, I, I added the 60 and the 70. Mm -hmm. And you got? And I got um, 130. Perfect. And then we don't have to do anything for the zeros. So then yeah. what do you do with these two sums here? At the you end? add them. Exactly. Nice. So when I add these up, 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 3 is? Um, 3. Yep. And 6 plus 1 is? 7. Good. So nice. there's our final estimated sum of 730. Yeah. Great job, Charlotte. Yeah. I think you and your brother did a really nice job today. Yeah. In yeah. fact, you did such a great job. It's time to drop a puck for you. Here we go. Let's see what else we get at your house. Oh, Ooh. the calculator. We got a calculator. nice little. Mm. These are fun, right? I mean, <laughs> oh, those are the new. Those are the newest kind. Yeah. Those are awesome. I like those too. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for calling, Charlotter. We'll send that present right up. The present. What am I saying? I'm thinking of the holidays now. We'll send that prize your way. Thanks for calling, kiddo. Okay. Thanks. Bye. 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 You know, we use math so many ways in life, not just in math class. This is true. Let's head out to the streets of BCPS to see who Maria is talking to now. <gasps> I love Maria. Math on the street. Hola, yo soy Maria, and I love math. Here at BCPS, we use math every day, everywhere, and in every office and school. Come with me, I'll show you how. Hola, yo soy Maria, and today I'm in La Cafeteria at Woodlawn High School with Miss Bettina Applewhite. She's a registered dietitian in BCPS. Hi, Maria. Thanks for stopping by. No problem. Miss Bettina, can you tell me how food and nutrition uses math? Sure. We feed hungry students every day. So one thing we do is make estimates based on the stuff that they like to eat. So at Woodlawn High School, we have different options for entrees, vegetables, fruits, and a variety of milks. We want to make sure that each student gets enough of what they want and they can choose without running out and without us making too much. Oh, that makes sense. How do you estimate how much is needed? Well, we look at what was sold previously and make a guess what our students like. Today, we're preparing 144 pizzas. 15 pizzas fit on one tray, which means we need 9.6 trays or 10 trays to cook all the pizzas that we need. Nine trays will have 15 pizzas on it, and one tray will have nine pizzas on it. Oh, so how do you cook the pizzas? So we batch cook the pizzas to make sure that they're hot and fresh for each student. 
and the pizzas go in the oven at 350 degrees and we cook them for about 12 minutes. And we know the pizzas are ready and safe to eat when the pizza comes out 145 degrees. Oh, wow, that's a lot of math and pizza. Yes, we use math every day when ordering our inventory to make sure that we have enough ingredients to prepare enough food. We use par levels to make sure that we have enough milk every day for each student. We use math at the cash registers when we give change to the students and when they make their purchases. We use math every day to determine how many fruits and vegetables we sell every day and keeping our production records. And math is everywhere in our kitchens. So thanks for stopping by. Wow, tengo hambre. I'm hungry. Now I'm going to go get some lunch. Thank you. Adios. Adios. Oh man, I tell you what, I absolutely love those maps on the street stuff. I think that's awesome. They are fun. You, yeah. you know, Max, we're trying yeah. for a turkey. Yeah, I was looking for I, a turkey. I yeah. see one. Where? Oh, oh, what? Oh. Did anybody see that? Did you see it? I missed one? it. I didn't see anything. Oh, nuts. Oh, well, if you see one, let me know. Okay. Move All right, let's move out. on. Who's on the phone now? Bobby, are you there? Yes. From Arbutus Middle School. How's it going, Bobby? How's it going? <laughs> We're good, man. We're good. So what do you got What's uh, going on with you? What's your question for us today? Okay. Two and 25. It's the decimal. Two and 25 hundredths times um, 29 hundredths. 29 hundredths. Bobby, That's great a... job not saying 2.25. Yes. I got to point that out right now. You're that using the proper word. Very good. All right, so what do we do now? Okay, we do. So we I think do the. Maybe I'll set it up like them, this. And then we add them up. All right, so okay. I'm going to set it up like this, just so we have it one over top of the other. Does that make it easier for you? So what are we going to multiply first, Bobby? We're going to multiply the 9 first then go on to the two, then go on to the zero. Perfect. Very All good. right, so let's do the nine first. I'm gonna do nine times five, which gives me? It gives you 45. Good, so I have the five, but where's the four go again? It goes on top of the two. Oh, okay, nice. perfect. All right, and now what do I have to do? Then you multiply, then you Multiply the 9 by the top 2. Okay, so that's 18, right? Oh, and then I add the 4. All right. So what do I get? I get 22. Perfect. And then I still have to do the 9 times the oh, other wait. 2, right? What about the yeah. decimal point, Bobby? Oh yeah. oh, yeah, what about that thing? You multiply the 9 by the other 2 and add the, the 2 to make 22. But what about the decimal point? Can you just ignore oh. it when you multiply? Um, you could you could place it there, or if you want, you don't have to. You know what? I think Miss Hevel would tell her students that you ignore the decimal until the final product when you add them together, yeah. which is sort yeah. of cool about multiplying because really it's almost like you're multiplying a three-digit number oh. by a two-digit number. Yeah. You could just ignore the decimal. There's a special rule for the decimal we're going to use when we get to the end. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm excited. Yeah. Anticipation. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to add my zero. I think someone else was doing a problem where we had to add a zero yep. earlier. So now what am I going to multiply, Bobby? You are going to multiply with the uh, two. All right, so my two times the five. I'm going to cross these out so I don't use those again. Yeah, All right, so two times five. Confused. Yeah, I would get confused. So two times five, and I have? N. 10. So I'm going to bring my 1 up. All right. Now what? Then you multiply the 2 by the 2 and then add the 1 to make 5. Perfect. Okay. And then one more. Then you multiply the 2 by the 2 to get 4. Good. And now do I need to multiply that 0 by anything? What happens when I multiply a number by 0? It's just going to be zero. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, my favorite one to do. So I'm going to ignore this zero. I don't need it. Yeah. All right, let's add these up, and then we'll talk about that decimal point. So five okay. plus zero. 
is 5. Okay. 2 plus 0 is 2. Okay. Uh, 0 plus 5 is 5. Mm -hmm. 2 plus 4 is 6. Good. All right, so let's think about that decimal point. How many numbers are after my decimal point up top here? Two. There's two after the first one and two after the second one, right? Yes. So how many times am I going to have to move that decimal point over? Four. Four. Perfect. So let's go one, two, three, four. Well, I like how you showed the little skips in there. That's important. It is important because if we had just brought that decimal point down like we do when we add and subtract, it wouldn't have the right, right solution. Yeah. There you go. All right, how's yeah. that look, Bobby? Does that look good? Yes. All right, well, we're not done with you yet. Miss Patton, time to it. drop the puck. You ready, Bobby? Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. We almost oh. lost the puck, Careful. Bobby. Careful. Technical difficulties. Ooh, more Ooh. earbuds. There you earbuds go. Earbuds are so popular they today. They are. Everyone's winning the earbuds today. Awesome job. Bobby, thanks for calling, buddy. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay, and Alrighty. for you, gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble! <laughs> Woohoo! I know, maybe he, it's, Bobby didn't see the turkey. Yeah. I know, I saw All it All right, before. we'll see what happens. Hey, let's head over to Riderwood. Justin, are you there? Justin? Yes. How's it going? Good. Hey, so do you have a math problem for us today, or do you want to talk clarinet? <laughs> a math problem. Oh, okay, oh. sounds good. So Justin, I happen to know this guy. He's like a famous clarinet player. Is he? Really? Yeah, he's got a big solo coming up in his winter concert, too. Ooh, that's oh, exciting. Yeah. That's really exciting. Good stuff. All right, so Justin, what's your question, buddy? The Kirk family shares a family cell phone plan. The plan is 3,200 cell phone minutes each month. 3,000? The father uses 1,200 minutes. The mother has used at least 600 minutes. The two children have used 675 minutes each. Right in a inequality that shows the number of minutes the Kurtz family has used. Okay, so let me go back over it. They have a pro they have a plan that has three thousand two hundred minutes, right? Yes. Okay, and then you said I'm gonna write that. And then who two hundred minutes? Moms use two hundred minutes. Uh, no, Dad uses a thousand two hundred. One thousand two hundred for Dad, and then who uses six hundred? Mom. Mom uses 600. And then how many kids? Two kids. Two kids. So this is for the kids. So two kids. Okay. A lot of minutes. That is a lot of minutes. And what's the question? How many minutes are left? Um, it says write in equality that shows the number of minutes the Kurtz family has, been, has uh, used. Okay. Okay. So what are we going to have to do to figure out how many minutes they've, they've used already? Um, you're going to have to add... 1,200 and 600 and multiply 675 by 2 and then add that to whatever 1,200 plus 600 is and subtract it from 3,200. Exactly. Yeah. And you see what I actually, I don't know if you can see on your TV screen, but I actually, instead of multiplying it by 2, I just wrote out 675 again since no, it would it be the it same. Easier. So I'm just going to add this up. We have 0 plus 0 plus 5 plus 5, which is 10. Oh. oh. Oh, somebody at the back door. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, All Max. Right. And then when I look at this here, the tens place, I'm going to add the double first just to be easy. So 7 plus 7 is? 14. Plus one more? 15. Yep. Regroup that one. And then I have 6 three times, which is what? 18. 18, 20, 21. And then... Two and one, so we get 3,150. Woo, they're close. They are They might have close. to look into the unlimited plan. They might have to. <laughs> um, so they have, how many minutes left do they have? This is sort of easy to do. I don't even think we have to actually write it out. If we have 3,200 and we're taking away 3,150, this would be, if I saw this problem, I would be scared with all those zeros, but it's, really easy what's the do you know what the answer is justin 50 yeah boom exactly because if i just think like well how much more do i have to get it would be 50 max did you get the door was it i did up? nobody was there i opened uh, it i looked uh -huh. around i looked up i looked side to side nobody was there so i closed the door and i came back interesting yeah so they have 50 minutes left in their plan 
But I think they might have to make an argument to get a larger plan. I think that's a good argument to have. Mm -hmm. All right, Justin, so. does that help you out, buddy? M Max, I, yep. I think I see someone at your door. Huh? I no, I just checked the back door. Oh. I think the front door. What? Do you see something, Justin? Oh, is there something at ah! the door? It's a turkey! Hey, come here, turkey! Oh. oh, you know, Max has been looking for a turkey to invite over for Thanksgiving. He has. Not to eat, to have as a guest. Yes. Well, let's let's get you your prize while Max is finding his turkey back there. What do you think, Justin? What's it going to be yep. today? Let's see. Ooh, Ooh, we've got another fun calculator. Those are real cool. They are. This screen is being stubborn today. It is. Where did Max go? I don't know. Oh my. Max? Are you I back can't yet? find the turkey! Oh, oh. I'm sorry, you can't oh. find the turkey? Hey! Well Justin, thanks for calling, buddy! They if give you're another still caller. out there. Talk to you again soon. You guys wanna do another caller? I think yeah, so. let's take another one. All right, Brendan from Franklin Elementary School, you there? Brendan? Hello. Hey, Hi. How's it going? Good. So, Brandon, are you ready for Thanksgiving? Yeah. Are you going to watch some of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you know what actually was on after that that I love? Best in show. You guys ever seen that? Oh, yeah. yes. With all the I dogs? Oh, year. man. <laughs> Those things are so cute. I just want to eat them all. I mean, really eat them. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not really going to eat them. It'd be terrible. Oh, Max. All righty. So, Brandon, what's your question for us? Um, so, this has, it's, one question, but it has like four in one. Okay. okay. It's write an algebraic expression for each situation. Okay, wow. so let's look at the first situation. Um, 20 less than a number n. Okay. Ooh, so 20 less than a number n. What does, what's the phrase we're looking at here? What's the important phrase? Looks like an incomplete sentence to me. Wow. Less than? Yeah, less than. And do you know what operation less than means? Subtraction. Perfect. Nicely done, Brendan. So when I read this, I've got two options. I can do 20 minus N, or I could do N minus 20. We have to figure out which number comes first. So what I like to do a lot of times is I like to put in a number for that N to see what sounds better. So let's say N might be, let's just say 100, because that's an easy subtraction problem. Good call. So what is 20 less than 100? If I asked you what 20 less than 100 was, what would you tell 100? me? 100, I mean 80. Yeah. yeah, so what number did we have in the front? The 20 or the 100? 80. So the answer is 80, right? So what math problem oh, yeah. did you do in your head? You did? 100, 100 minus 20. Right. Yeah. So, and the 100 was with our N. N. So I'm going to be writing N minus 20. Cool. That was tricky. That is yeah. tricky. Got to be careful with some of these questions. I tell you what. A lot of my high schoolers have trouble with that. Mm. Mm. I believe it. Maybe it's they a didn't tough call thing. in. Maybe. Oh, they should call in more often. <laughs> That's what we need to have happen. Let's do it. All right, Brandon, does that clarify things for you, though, bud? Yes. Cool, but well, we're not done yet. It is time for a puck to drop on a wall. Here we go. Are we this ready? Got it. Yeah. Here we go. Wow. Oh, what's Hard it left. Ooh, another calculator. Woo! I love this calculator. Those are fun. All right, bud, we're going to send that calculator right out to you, okay? Okay, thank you. You're thank quite you. welcome. Oh, I love those pleases and thank yous. <laughs> Well, Max, before we take our next yeah. caller, we're going to go head out to one of our very own Baltimore County Public Schools and check in for a Mighty Math oh, Minute. Oh, I love the Mighty Math Minute! Hi, my name is Clarissa, and this is your Mighty Math Minute. Mighty Math Minute! Today, we're going to show division using equal groups. So... First, you, you have 18, so you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18. So we're going to count watches in each group. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if there's six groups, if there's three groups with six in each, it would be equal to six. Awesome sauce. Tell you what, I love it when kids answer questions for us. So cool. <laughs> it almost makes us feel like we have no jobs to do. Oh, oh no. That's no, okay. There's Still plenty of math callers. out there. Yeah. All right, you guys ready for another caller? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. All right. Anaya from Sandalwood, are you there? Anaya? Yeah. Hey, Hi. how's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much. Still looking for a turkey. Hoping one will drop in sometime soon, but you never know when they're going to drop in. Whoa! Whoa! What the pajamas was that? Max! Yeah? I, I, <gasps> I think I found you a friend! Oh! Holy found! It's a turkey! Oh! Thank you so much! Oh, Mr. Turkey, would you want to come over for Thanksgiving with me? Oh! All right, I got my turkey guest! Oh, this is best! All right, Anaya, <laughs> what can we do for you today? I'm having trouble with this one problem. Okay, well, let's help you not have trouble. It says, in which number is the value in the digits of the thousands place ten times greater than the value in the digit in the hundredth place? The answer that here's the, all the options is 200, 2,000, 2, 2,000, Two hundred thousand, two hundred, two hundred thousand, two thousand, two thousand, two thousand, twenty thousand, two hundred, two hundred thousand, two hundred. Okay. Nice. Two hundred thousand, one hundred. Thanks, mom. <laughs> no problem. Two thousand, two hundred, and two thousand, one hundred. Wow. Two thousand, two hundred. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. A lot of stuff here. A lot of numbers. There are a lot of numbers. And then, <laughs> what was the question again? I know it was about the value, the place value. Is it slower? And which number is the value of the digit in the thousandth place ten times greater as the value in the digit in the hundredth place? Oh, okay. So we're looking for, I see, which one is ten thousand times greater? Oh. Ten times. Oh. Okay. In the thousand. In the, oh, right. I, I, it's my fault. I meant to say that. I'm just so excited about the turkey. Oh. <laughs> okay. I will call him Gobble. I can already see two numbers that I could cross out. Mm -hmm. What ones do you think I can cross out? I think it's 2,000, 200, 2,000. Two, 200,000, 200. 200. 1,200. Yeah. Yes, because we have a, if I have a two here and I'm looking for a value in my thousands place, that's not going to make sense that there would be a zero there. Mm -hmm. And then what and other one could I cross out? C, which is 2,200. 2,200? Ms. Heba, what were you thinking? I was thinking that 200,000. 100 because that one just like you said in the last one in the thousands place is a zero yeah so i knew those two large numbers were sort of not going to be my options mm -hmm. now i look at my hundreds place here and i see i have a two here and if i wanted to know something 10 times greater than that mm -hmm. I, I like that because i'm thinking about my when i'm multiplying by a 10 Mm -hmm. And then I see a one here, and if I did 10 times greater and I was multiplying by a 10, I would still get a one. But there's a what in my thousands place here. Mm -hmm. So what do you, oh boy, well, just I did next something to, to the screen. What do you, <laughs> that surprised me. Um, almost as much as your turkey, Max. There you um, go. So what do you think our answer is going to be? Um, I think it's going to be C. 
I think you're right. I think you're right too. And that, and you can check it. How do you know? Did you guys talk about how to check it? Um, I don't think so. We have. I don't think we have yet. Okay, so all I can say is, if I look at the value of the two in my hundreds place, what is the value of my two in my hundreds place? Two hundred. You got it. And if I wanted to know something ten times greater, I'm multiplying by what? Um, ten. Yeah. yeah. So look here. Two times my one is two, and then I'm going to annex my zeros. So I have one, two, three zeros. Uh -huh. oh. So look at that. I got 2,000. Now, you might be like, wait, Mrs. Patton, that's not the same as this number. That's but, correct. <laughs> but my value, what's the value of that 2 now? The value of the 2 is 1,000, 2,000. Yeah. yeah. And so that's why I said over here, if we multiplied 100, we would have gotten, it would be 1,000. I knew it wasn't going to have a 2 there. So that's how you can check it. You can look at the words and replace the words with your numbers. Hundreds. I knew, look here, 200 times 10, and I got the 2,000. If I got the right value in that right place, I know that would be the right answer. So that's how you can sort of check that. That's a really, really tricky question. It is. And I yeah. know that you guys see those questions a lot in fourth grade. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hang in there, and I, you're doing a great job yeah, with some tough stuff. Yeah. And thanks for calling, by the way. You're welcome. Yeah, and we're here any, any Wednesday. Well, except next Wednesday. We're not here next <laughs> Wednesday. But we'll be back soon, and you can call us again, okay? Okay. All right, but we're not done yet. Miss Evel, you know what to do. Let's win a prize. Yeah, check this out, Mr. Turkey. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. 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 Woo. Earbuds. Everyone's getting the earbuds today. Yeah. Earbuds. <laughs> cool. We'll send that right out to you, kiddo. Thanks for calling. You're right. welcome. Hey, you guys think we have time for one more? I think so. Let's do it. Hey, Tori from Featherbed Lane, are you there? Yes. How you doing, Tori? Good. How about you? I'm good. Are you ready for Thanksgiving? Yes. This is my new friend, Turkey. His name is Gobble. Gobble Turkey. Wait a minute. That sounds like I'm eating a turkey. <gasps> Might have to change the name. <laughs> what to say, Mr. Turkey? All right. So, Tori, what's your question for us today? What is 575? I mean, no, 5,572 times 7. 5,572 times 7. Yes. Okay. All right. And Let's... how are you doing these in school? Algorithm. Okay. Oh, I like, I've got rhythm, algorithm. <laughs> Is that it? That's some good stuff. Yep. Something like that. You got it, Max. All right. So All let's, let's, What's up first? Let's see. Let's start with our ones place. So what am I going to multiply first? Um, wait, I have a question. Yeah. Sure. So I'm not watching right now because I have Dabra TV. Oh, you can't see it? Yes. OK, oh, so right. we'll just walk it through on the phone. No problem, yeah. kiddo. So then the ones place of my 5,572 is a 2. So let's multiply 7 times 2 first. What's 7 times 2? 7 times 2 is 14. There Perfect. you go. So I'm going to write the 4 down and put a 1 up above my 7. So now 7 times 7 is? 7 times 7 equals 49. Perfect. Nice. And Very I have to good, add Tori. that 1. So 49 plus it's 1 is? 50. 50. Good. I'm going to bring my 5 up. So now I've got 7 times 5. 7 times 5 is, is 35. Perfect. And then I have to add another 5. So what's 35 plus 5? It is 40. Perfect. Nice. So I'm going to put the 0 and the 4. All right, let's do 7 times 5 again. 7 times 5 is what again? It is 35. 35 yep. plus my 4 is? Oh, Mr. Turkey fell. Is plus your 4 is? I got 39. 39. Does that sound good? Yes. Oh. All right. So it looks like my final answer is 39,004. Yes. Wow. That's a big number. It is a big number. 
Does that make you feel good there, Tori? Does that help you out? Yes. All right. Perfect. Well, let's help you out some more. Miss Patton. Let's see what it's going to be. Ooh. It's the highlighter. Woo! All right. That thing's so cool. All right, Tori, we'll send that highlighter out to you. Okay, kiddo? Hey. All right, thanks for calling. All right. Oh, we have time for another caller. This is great. Dylan from Franklin Elementary School. Are you there? Hi. How's Hi. it going, Dylan? Hi. So, Dylan, what is your math question for us today? 220, no, yeah, 226 minus 187. Oh. 226? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, wait, great. So with this problem, I can see we're going to have to do some regrouping. Let's all yeah. take yep. a second and regroup. So how am I? I can't have, say we six have homework. minus. We have homework for, oh, my God. We have, we have homework for regrouping today. Yeah, well, that makes sense. There it is. So I'm going to regroup by, what am I going to have to do if I can't do six minus seven? Uh, six minus seven. You're going to regroup, so you're going to put the one at the top. And, and so you're going to, so you, so you take away the six. Yep. So. I made that a 16, so 16 minus 7 is? 8. So close. No, 10. It's 9. Gonna be 9. 9. 9. Yeah. It's okay. And then I have to regroup again, and so this becomes a 1, and now this 1 over here is going to become an 11. So 11 minus 8 is? Uh, hold on. I count up. 3. 3. Count up. It's make, yeah, so 1 minus, and then 1 minus 1 is? Huh? 0. There it is. So I, I got what is my final answer? Thirty-nine. There Perfect. you go. Perfect. You did a great job with that. Yeah. It can be tricky. Yeah, and Dylan, sorry we had to rest that a little bit, but we wanted to make sure we had time to drop the puck for you. So here we go. Right. Let's go. Our last puck for this week. Oh no no! no. What is on the wheel? Oh, oh the calculator! We got a calculator. Woo -hoo. All okay. right. Well, kids, that's all the time we have for this episode. Be sure to tune in after Thanksgiving. That would be um, on December 4th for That's our right. next show. And remember, we do re-air each episode, so be sure to watch. You can even watch these episodes online on our YouTube page. There it is. Check it out, and be sure you to tell your friends to watch, too. We look forward to seeing everybody again next time. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Only, Only here on BCBS TV. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.